Irvine police say a UPS driver was shot and killed while sitting in his truck and was targeted. Fox 11's Gina Silva is live with the latest on the investigation, including the suspect's arrest. Gina. That's right, Christine. It was a brazen attack that occurred around 3 p.m. People in this area heard the loud pops. At first, they didn't know what to make of it. But when they came outside, they saw the UPS truck and they knew that driver had been shot and killed. The victim is a UPS driver. Appears he was uh, sitting parked in his truck. A murder in broad daylight. A UPS driver sitting in his truck is shot multiple times while parked at an industrial business area near Chrysler and Bendix in Irvine. A vehicle pulled up alongside. The driver of the suspect vehicle never got out, um, pulled out a gun and shot the UPS driver uh, from inside the vehicle. It's, it's just shocking. It's really like out of the blue. Kevin Sanchez of Greddy Performance Products says the victim had been their UPS driver for several years, and he'd actually seen him this morning. I mean, he was a friendly gentleman. Uh, he never really uh, displayed any sort of attitude, any sort of you know negativity, or anything like that. Just kind of like your normal delivery guy. Most likely a targeted person that was known to the suspect. About 20 minutes away from where the victim was gunned down on Santiago Canyon Road, police surrounded the suspect who sat in the back seat of his silver truck and would not come out until authorities forced him to. There was no shots were fired. Uh, we used less lethal munitions and, and gassed in the vehicle. The canine was also released. I believe the canine did uh, bite him, so I'm not sure what the extent of his injuries are. He was transported to the hospital to receive further treatment. UPS issued a statement that says in part, our hearts are heavy tonight with the news of the loss of one of our drivers in Irvine, California. The safety and well-being of our employees is our top priority, and we are providing support and counseling services to our employees affected by this tragedy. Authorities have not disclosed any further details in this case or about the suspect, and we still don't know the motive behind this shooting. Alex, Christine, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right.